Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own pudding keycaps. So for this video, I'm going to use my keyboard here. It's the Guler Master Master Keys L Lite. Yeah. So it's a mechanical membrane keyboard, I believe, and it has RGB zoning. So what pudding keycaps are, they are actually normal keycaps with the sides being translucent. Not the whole side, but only half of the side. So here's a picture. Ding. For this model of keyboard, I don't believe that there's a set of pudding keycaps that's compatible with this. Or I'm not sure, I haven't done my research, but I also don't have the money to buy those keycaps because they are pretty expensive and I already have keycaps here attached to my keyboard. So why would I buy one? I'm broke. So while browsing Reddit, I saw someone sanding off their keycaps to create their own potting keycaps. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm, I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm going to tell you how long will it take for me to sand these keycaps. So there's a few main things you should keep in mind before doing this method. So number one is examine your keycaps. Know what your keycaps are. So if your keycaps are painted on, like mine, as you can see, then this method will work for you. So how will you know if it's painted on? First check check inside your keycaps if it looks like a clear plastic, a clear translucent plastic. And if it does, it means that your keycaps are actually clear plastic. It was just painted on to create this look. So that's true for my keycaps. Therefore, I can sand it down to create my own look and if your keycaps are not like this maybe they are a uh, double shot or the whole whole thing is actually colored plastic then this wouldn't work because you'll be sanding off basically nothing without further ado let's get sanding so first of all i'm going to use two methods in sanding off my keycaps and i'm going to compare the results to know which is better and faster so for the first method i'm going to use only a 400 grit sandpaper or something higher to sand off the sides of my keycaps and for the second method i'm first going to use a 120 grit sandpaper and then further polish it down using a 400 grit sandpaper so i'm gonna be using two kinds of sandpaper so one thing to do here is try to sand it in one direction so all of your keys will look flawless and consistent so sanding one side is around one minute be careful not to over sand it though because it may destroy your keycaps because it will make it too thin So now we've finished all of the sides, then now it's left is for the corners. Tada! I finished my first kick up the letter of B. So one thing to know here is there will all, there will be some leftover uh, paint here at the edges and you can just scrape it off by doing this doing it like this. And after this it will be a great idea to wash it with water to polish it further. And make sure to remove some of the, the some of the sanded paint inside the keycap before putting it back. There's still a few leftovers there. Go to sand it down. So, sanding off one keycap took me around 6 minutes and 50 seconds. More like 7 minutes. One keycap and then 
wiping, wiping it off. It took me around 7 minutes. So that's a lot of time. But that's true for the 400 grit sandpaper. So what I'm going to try now is first I'm going to use a higher grit sandpaper and then polish it down with a 400 grit sandpaper. Now all sides are done. Now we're going to do the corners just a little bit. Now be careful with doing the corners or doing it too much because you may you may sand off the face the front face, so you should be careful with that. Now we're going to use the 400 grit. To make it smoother. So now I've sanded all the sides. And now I'm just going to wipe it. So now it's finished. It took me less time to transform this key by using. The second method, which is first using a low grit sandpaper, this one, and then using a high grit sandpaper. And we're going to compare the results. So this one, I just used a 400 grit sandpaper all alone, and this one, I used a 100 grit first, and then a 400 grit. Now I'm going to sand off all of my alphanumeric keys. So the whole process took me about 4 to 5 hours because I also cleaned the insides of my keyboard. So basically what I did is first sand off my alphanumeric keycaps and then wash them and then dry, dry them off using a paper towel. And then after that I remove all the other keycaps and clean the insides too. And also I also cleaned my keyboard using a dry towel. Then finally I put them all back together in one piece. So 4 to 5 hours seems like a long time in sanding off just a few keycaps and not the whole keyboard. So if you want to save time, you can always buy the HyperX putting keycaps, which also looks good but it costs more. And also, I am sure that most of the keycaps in the HyperX putting keycaps will fit your keyboard, except for a few. And for those few that doesn't fit your keyboard, you can use your existing keycaps and then sand them off. So that's basically sanding off maybe five to six keycaps and then you're done.
And here's the final look of my DIY putting kickups. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked this tutorial and if you have any other tips or suggestions or any kind of comment just comment it down below and make sure to like the video and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to be updated for more videos like this. Thank you, cheers.